The point of this simulation is to give us a real-world look into how things move. The sliders in this case allow us to adjust the strength and expertise with which the swimmer executes the butterfly stroke. The options are amateur, qualified, expert, and Olympic. Leaving all the sliders at qualified, let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, the velocity of the swimmer changes with time. The graph on the left shows the varying rightward velocity of the swimmer at each point in time. The velocity is changing with time. You can imagine that when the swimmer pushes hard on the water with his hands or feet, he accelerates. And when he is simply drifting, his speed might decrease due to drag with the water. You can see at the top of the graph at left, it gives you the area bounded by the light blue coloring. The area of a velocity versus time graph has units of distance. You would multiply meters per second on the vertical axis by seconds on the horizontal axis. This area actually represents the distance traveled rightward by the swimmer as a result of his efforts. If you scrub the graph leftward, you can see the distance traveled at any point in time. If you wanted to measure the acceleration of the swimmer at some point in time, you would measure the slope of the graph on the left. For instance, you can see at some points the slope is positive, meaning that the swimmer is accelerating rightward and speeding up. At other points in time, the slope is negative, meaning that the swimmer is accelerating leftward, although still moving rightward, and slowing down as a result. The graph at right tells us something different, the position of the swimmer at each point in time. As you can see, this graph marches upward. After all, the swimmer is always moving rightward, even if he's doing it at various speeds. The slope of this graph should represent the velocity of the swimmer. After all, the vertical axis represents position, and the horizontal axis represents time, so the slope would be equal to its change in position divided by change in time. In other words, the velocity. You can scrub the data point left and right to read out the velocity of the swimmer, the slope, at any point in time. Of course, this should match the value of the graph at left at that same moment in time. When the graph at left has low value, the slope of the graph at right should be small. Thank you for watching.